Welcome to Rory Academy YouTube channel where we present information that helps you improve your understanding and knowledge about power electronics technology. Statistics of a power diode. In signal diodes, in the forward biased region, the current increases exponentially. However, in power diodes, high forward current leads to high ohmic drop, which dominates the exponential growth and the curve increases almost linearly. The maximum reverse voltage that the diode can withstand is depicted by VRRM i.e. peak reverse repetitive voltage. Above this voltage, the reverse current becomes very high abruptly and as the diode is not designed to dissipate such a high amount of heat, it may get destroyed. This voltage may also be called peak inverse voltage PIV. Whenever the diode is switched off, the current decays from the forward current to zero and further continues. In reverse direction owing to the charges stored in the space charge region and the semiconductor region, this reverse current attains a peak IRR and again starts approaching zero value and finally, the diode is off after time TRR. This time is defined as reverse recovery time and is defined as the time between the instant forward current reaches zero and the instant the reverse current decays to 25% of IRR. After this time the diode is said to attain its reverse blocking capability. Another interesting parameter defined for power diodes from its turnoff characteristics known as softness factor S factor defined as the ratio of times TB and TA. If a diode has S factor equals to unity it is known as a soft recovery diode and for S factor less than unity it is known as fast or snappy recovery diodes. S factor indirectly indicates the voltage transient that occurs upon the turn off of the diode. Low S factor implies high transient over voltage while high S factor. Thank you for watching and kindly subscribe to this channel for your weekly videos.